Hello friends, my name is Sarmat and in today's video we are discussing about the SEO that how you can do the SEO of the WordPress website or any other custom website like uh, your wordpress.com blog or blogspot blog or custom.com or any other domain website. So basically people ask me that how you are doing your website SEO and how your website articles get in Google so fast so basically uh, I have read out all the policies of Google and I'm sharing some of the basic tip with you guys that which things are the main, main important things which you should take care of them to let your article in Google in no time so uh, we need to figure out the things that are the important one like in WordPress and in Google webmaster tools so uh, most of the people like my friends didn't know about the Google Webmaster tool which are not in a part of technology field. So uh, the main thing is that when you need to get your website in Google, you need to know about the Google Webmaster tools. So for the SEO purpose, the Google Webmaster tool plays an important role. Basically I am using a very simple template uh, and this template I love this template and I have purchased this template from the theme forest you can also check the template from here by going into the setup and scroll down the page and here you will find the template that is WordPress theme just, just press on it and it will open it on a new tab so basically this is the WordPress theme and it is a one page template if we go for our preview and basically it is a one page template and design for the portfolio website but i like the template a lot and i've just purchased this template about two years ago and then i modify it by my own design so basically you can see here it has no footer like thing or all the pages are being on a one page like here and the basically this template is also available in html and wordpress so i purchased both the, the template for beginning my website is basically on a HTML on a same template but now I have shifted my website to WordPress because for the SEO purpose WordPress website are basically superb like if you are going for a meta tag or some other stuff and the HTML website make you very hustle process and you need to figure out many things need many effort to let your website in Google so for the WordPress website we are simply using the WordPress SEO plugin that is used SEO plugin premium version I'm also using the premium version but my license get expired or you can also get the plugin from any torrent website or some other website so I'm using the latest vers uh, version of uh, used SEO plugin so let's start it that how you can get your articles in Google let's check out my recent article on Google that is how to search a specific video on YouTube channel and after the three articles of Google my article is placed on a fourth page of the front page of Google on the fourth uh, topic or the link whatever you say so this is basically published in on 1st of August and 2017 and it's on the very top page so how my article gets into the top page and when I open the article it also contain uh, some links some other stuff so I'm explaining all the details like how you can make your article this type of thing to let them in Google and the page you can see the responsive and it is a very clean design no sidebars no other things no pop-ups nothing else so according to the Google policies the page should be like this one so very clean design even your website should have one sidebar I don't have any sidebar so it's okay and no other thing on footer like it's a very clean design and very easy to understand so basically Google needs such designs which are friendly and when the user come into your website he definitely likes your design like okay this design is the perfect design and he can easily find out each and everything in your website in just easy way so this is the main important thing before setting up your website so let's start it that how you can do so this is the interface of my WordPress website so basically all the stuff and I have only 15 posts are public uh, published on and according to me and my research my 14 posts are on the top page of Google so which are giving me a great revenue by 
the AdSense. So I got AdSense approval just two months before and most of the people say that the blog should be six month old should contain 25 to 30 articles and the other stuff so as per my experience nothing happened like this you need to have a website some guidelines which i am going to share today for the adsense and the seo and you can apply for the adsense and it's depend on your luck and your website structure like designing and other stuff so we are going to start from the post section like with what kind of posts you need to upload for the SEO purpose so first thing we need to do before the post section we need an SEO plugin like it's going to be a used SEO plugin or Google XML plugin or any other plugin which you are going to use in your WordPress website so I prefer SEO plugin of used this is the most powerful plugin and most friendly and fast plugin for publishing your post in Google front page so uh, by setting up this plugin you can check out many tutorials or my own tutorial I'll uh, publish the link in the video description you can check out from here or in the end of the video so uh, we are going to use something like the XML sitemap the sitemap is basically the whole structure of your website in which all the structure pages post category tags and media are being listed here so if i go to the sitemap from here it will show you a complete structure of my website that how many posts are being uploaded like post sitemap pages attachments portfolio category post tags some department sitemaps and portfolio tags so if i go for the post it will show you all the posts of my wordpress website and here it is showing a zero images so I'm using some sort of trick type of thing to let them not index my images to Google so th this is the other thing like okay now uh, we need to know that how you can install the WordPress XML sitemap so if you are using a free plugin of used SEO so it will have the same features but not as much that I have some extra features like adding some keywords more than five or any other stuff so basically you need to install the sitemap first for your website then you need to go to the Google webmaster tools so this is the online uh, platform for developers who want to lead their website in Google front page so you definitely need Google webmaster tools here are the Google webmaster tool if you didn't use the Google webmaster tool before you need to go to the add property and type out your website address here and then go for add and they will uh, say you to add a HTML code or HTML file to your website hosting or website head so you need to go back to your WordPress website and go to the settings and then uh, so you go to the tools and go to the available tools after installing the jetpack plugin and scroll down and from here you need to type out Google webmaster that HTML verification code here and just save out the settings I have already uploaded the HTML file to my hosting and I have placed the Bing SEO Bing webmaster uh, code here and then save my file to verify my property in webmaster tools after verifying the property you need your property will be shown up like here like all these my website properties are being showing so then go to the website and here is the basic structure of your website that how many URLs are being submitted and how many URLs are being indexed to the Google so my 50 URLs are submitted and only 37 URLs are indexed it also, it also includes some private posts some uh, read only content some other stuff that I am using for a password purpose or I have shared them with the custom people people so all the pages are included in this 50 URLs so we are going to the sitemap first and then we need to add a sitemap to our website so basically how you can add a sitemap you can need to press here that add set add test yeah sitemap then you will need to type out your sitemap address so for that you need to go to the used SEO plugin or you can uh, directly type out your sitemap address if you know it then go to the XML sitemap 
and then press on your XML sitemap and here is the link so you need to copy only this link from here and go here and just paste it out first you need to test the sitemap and then submit it after submitting the sitemap, uh, sitemap it will show up here like this one so you need to press on it and it will show you all the details of your sitemap that which posts are being indexed and which are being submitted for a verification to Google so my uh, posts are displaying where are the posts attachment blog portfolio. here are the posts so my posts are 16 which the articles are being published on my website and the 13 articles are published on Google so basically uh, I think 12 out of 13 or 10 out of 13 13 are on a top rank of Google so how I lead my articles to the top page for that you need to go here and you need to change some of the details of your website so go to the site settings and then hit crawl rate so here is let Google optimize for my site recommended crawl rate or limit Google maximum crawl rate so I have check out this option and let it to the higher section basically it crawl every url in 0.5 second between requests so this is the top high rank of the crawling url and that is the reason google fetches my article more fast but there are some other reasons too which are the most important one so let's move on to them from here go to the post and show all your post but i'm showing you from my blog section here like if i go to the this article that is embed YouTube video as an audio player so basically here you are seeing that there are some couple of links here like video into the mp3 some copyright issue and then web page and visitors and and the YouTube and some other links so basically these links are known as internal links internal links are basically used to figure out different topics in one topic like if someone is reading this topic and he need to know about video into an mp3 then he will press on this article and it will redirect it to my new article that is best online playground for Pakistani developers so he will also read out my this article and it also contains some links this is the internal link structure which is developed by Google and Google policy says that one article should contain at least five to seven internal links for fetching your article in Google no time so basically I'm using all the criteria according to the Google policies my all pages and website is according to the Google policies so I read out them daily as they update uh, after one month or two months or as per their desire so I randomly check out their policies again and again if something they had added new thing so I definitely use them in my website so I'm not using any sidebar here but you can also use the sidebar in your website which make it more impressive and then you can also use some other stuff so I'm using very clean design with some ad which make it look like some type of ugly thing but it is very good for the revenue you can also use it if you have AdSense approval then you can uh, add some links like here these are the internal links type of google ads which also help them to get clicks like this is the embed internal link and the other internal link. these links are very important for the seo purpose and if i check out my page source from here so this page source is also very important like most of the people do a uh, minify to their page source and what is minify i'll take you to the minify section like if i go to my web a, uh, web apps page and the QR code application this is my basically QR code application and this is an HTML template how this is similar to that one so I'm a developer and I lead my website according to my own desire so I make some different and unique changes day by day so if I go to the page source setting and this is exactly the minify thing like no one understand that which code is the actual one and if I go to my website article and go to the page source so this is the clean design like you can see that everyone can easily view my page source and he can use it or grab it from here but I am using some type of scripts inside it so it will never be used by him 
if he grab my page source so basically what is the minify and what are the disadvantages of using minify google will not fetch your minify article like basically this article is no index you can see the meta tags here these two meta tags are the no index meta tags which means that i am not enabling this page to get into the google search because this is a web application page and i want it to make it secure because i'm using some sort of password or i'm going for a premium version to view this page so i'm using it for a private one so i'm using a minify here and google will not fetch this minify code because according to the google bots the whole website page is being scanned so when they are going to the scan some sort of things and if you're using a minify then they will show some errors and they will stop scanning and google will show you an error on your webmaster tool so basically don't use any sort of minify in your blog website use a clean design responsive template and a clean template so you can see here that this is a very clean design so google can easily fetch every piece of code listed here so this is another major important thing which most of the bloggers didn't know about and they need that i need my website on a front page and it is not fetching by the google or any other stuff so basically you need to know about some couple of things that these things are the major thing which you want to know after that there should be a used SEO plugin. So I'm moving to the used SEO that how you can boost your post. You can rank your post to the green light. For this purpose, I'm going to the post section and I'm showing you my this post is a green light post, which is the top rank. So I'm going to open it. After opening the article, it will show you a my interface of website internal interface of article and, and i have reviewed this article for up to 19 times so i definitely check my articles that would it contain any mistake or some other stuff so you, you need to check it out so if I, I scroll down the page and go to the used seo plugin so because of the uh, uh, premium plugin i have some keywords option like adding some more keywords like one two three four and five so i can add five keywords of for my website so if you are using a free version you will not get this option you will only get one keyword option that is here so for these are the benefits of using a premium and a free version and you can also get a social media share preview in premium version so you can check out here so how you can let your website in the article so basically the main title for the website is very important so if i go to the add it snippet and so here is the seo title which is showing to the google front page to the visitors so this should be in green light like this one so if it is less than here so you can check that the lights gets lowered and if it is only three words article it would be like red one or some sort of this so you need to let them as in green light so for the perfect SEO then the slug are the most important so you need to select out some words similar to your topic so that they will also fetch in Google SEO and the meta description is the most important one so you need to type out the meta description so that it will show up to Google when someone search out your article and then the focused keywords so you need to type out related focus keywords here for if someone type out YouTube videos then my article will also show up to Google so these are the important thing and then this is the used SEO internal linking so it will show you some sort of internal uh, your own website article that you should add these articles as an internal link so i have added this article and it, it is showing ticks here that these articles are perfectly added and are being indexed and accepted by google so these are the function things and as i have made my template as my own like i have added the whole template as my own 
desire and then I have added every piece of code in this template so I have added the SEO description and keyword option in template too I have added this recently that's why it's blank so I'm going to edit the information in every article day by day so this may be a very hassle process but it will definitely help me to get my article more fastly in Google search by using some different sort of description and the keywords so these things are the most important for the developers and if you are a beginner then you should follow some built-in tools as I have shown you for the SEO articles. So these are the things and the last thing I am going to share today with you guys is the Parmalink. So get into the settings and then go to the Parmalink. So basically the Parmalinks are also very important for any WordPress website if you are using a blog and some other, other sort of website. So I am using some my custom Parmalink which shows my uh, blog page and then category and then the post name and then post ID because I'm using my own template as per my own desire so I'm using some sort of post ID to show the post in different areas like by using a PHP script so this is the um, other thing that I need to add into my URL but if you don't need it you can also select here from only post name but as per the SEO they are the there are only two links which are most important and plays important role in the SEO field like if you can select the post name this is the very top rank and Google will fetch the post name more fast than any other permalink and the second one is day and name so this is the time URL for your website so this will also get in Google more fast after the post name permalink so these are the things which you kept in your mind for using uh, your web WordPress website as an SEO and these are the most important things for doing your web WordPress website SEO hope so you will like my tutorial and it will be very informative for you guys for the beginners which are leading to the SEO thing and do make your website responsive and clean and add some couple of pages like profile resume some other information about your blog and some other piece of information add up to at least 10 pages and then upload five or six according to the SEO guideline public posts and then make a header and footer and a sidebar for your website and then apply for the AdSense and you will definitely get approval in one or two days as my get my AdSense uh, got approval and I'm showing you the email from the Google and the date of my AdSense approval so basically this is an email I got from the AdSense after getting the approval and if I go for the date here that is 13th of July and it will show you also the time and the year that is 13 July 2017 at 5 36 a.m. so Google emailed me and that my AdSense got approved and I was very excited that oh I got the AdSense approval and many of the people asked me that how you can get the approval in such a very short period of time that your blog only contain five articles so at that time uh, my blog had only five articles so this depend on your luck and your contribution to your blog and the proper time you're giving to your blog so this these are the main important things you need to let them know that how you can use your blog how you are using your blog for SEO purpose and how clean is your blog as responsive and as the backend coding so these are the important things you need to know and then hope so you will get uh, AdSense approval in no time so these are the things I'm going to sharing with you guys and most of the people ask me that you need to share these things with, with us so so that's why I'm sharing this piece of information with you guys so that you can lead and you can get your goal easily and you can get AdSense approval and boost your website articles in Google more fast do like my video and do watch my other tutorials as they are showing into your skin so you can do more with coding apps and tutorials thank you